Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Mm -hmm. And tonight we have Danny VC. Danny VC hosting with one viewer. Yay. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> um, tonight we have four games we're going to be playing. Excellent. Uh, a new homebrew, Tank to Tank, uh, on the 2600. Uh, and we're also going to be doing two games as part of the uh, Harmony Games. Perfect. High score thing that's happening. Uh, so he usually does a primary and then a bonus score game. Mm. And those are Robot City and Cannon Head Clash. Yay! And I have the boxes for those. So we'll be looking a little bit at those as I well. I got to play those. Yes, you did. And I didn't. So yep. I'll be playing a little bit of those. I'm very um, and also, back again, we're going to be doing um, Activision patch attempt uh, on Plaque Attack. Nice. Yes. Nice. I have uh, not played that game, by the way. So I have played it very little. Yes. So uh, good luck to, to us. I don't know if it's a hard one or an easy one to get the patch score. Mm. Is which it is high? 35. Who knows? <laughs> you know, it's a score. I don't know if it's we'll high see. or if it's low. It's 35,000. Okay. So is that high? I don't know. Um, I want to thank uh, all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Alan the Fur Arms Guard, Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Catalogs, Charles Wheeland, Coconut81, Dino, Dan, if you see Fat Beavis, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Juan Urado, uh, Just Zanny, Carl G, Mark Space Inc., Matthew Lazarus, Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnawoop, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nintendo Cade, Pack Rat, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Nerd, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Snicklin, Socrates, Spice for S. Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman89, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD. If you didn't hear your name and you want to hear your name, mm -hmm. uh, you can get it on there for free. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, yes. just link it to Twitch Prime and hit subscribe and you'll get your name scrolling there. Yeah, beside on the side. Tanya. We're, we're not paid by Amazon Prime or anything. No, so pay well, easy way of no. No. <laughs> when you subscribe, Amazon oh, yes. does pay us. Yes. But uh, yeah. But and Ground Trooper, who just subscribed. Hooray, Thank you Atari. so much. The cat is here. The cat's oh. here. And uh, <laughs> hello to everybody who is chatting. Yes. Mike Soul, Dan ABC, Metal Lunar, Miss Command, S. Ramirez, uh, The D Train, Al Nefer. Marco, Johannes, Carl G, Armscar, Coder, uh, and everybody else who is lurking. Thank you for watching live mm -hmm. on Twitch. It's always nice to get instant feedback. And Ricardo Pam. Hello. Just in time. And make sure you follow uh, us on all the social media um, so you can get updated on yeah. things. You are shadowed by the mic. You keep leaning into a the little shadow bit. there. Yeah. I don't know if it should, should I move it moved. a little bit? Yeah. I'm going to move it in just a little bit. I just noticed when you were rolling off all the subscriber names. Getting shadowed. And then you had like half your face in shadow. <laughs> Thank you. I like this shirt too. Galaga. Yeah, it's a great shirt. It is an awesome <laughs> shirt. Um, we have a poll question today. Uh, the poll question was kind of precipitated um, by a comment a little while back from mm -hmm. somebody who said they fall asleep to us. <laughs> Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, they, they find us calming, soothing somehow. <laughs> anyway, the poll question today yes. um, is, what do you do while Zero Page Homebrew is on? Obviously, these are people watching live on Twitch, but hmm. in your mind, I'd you can answer later on YouTube, leave a comment. <laughs> um, the answers possible are um 100 full attention to the show you watch it you listen to it um another answer is you code or work yes because i know some people have it on and they do their coding or yeah. they're working on another window um or you play video games either along with us or other games some people play along and say i just got the score and yep. it's like that's cool that's really that cool good. yeah um we support that too or you do yeah. chores around the house because somebody says they always do dishes or they're finishing their dishes or they're <laughs> neglecting their dishes neglecting their dishes yeah. um or you fall asleep which is number five or <laughs> other hey <laughs> arabera welcome yeah um so there you go and i chose a different 
look to the poll results so that they're not so shadow. Oh, this is they're a little much bit easier to bigger read. too. That's yeah. excellent. So there you go. And uh, <laughs> coding and working and 100% nice. full attention are yeah. tied right now. Al Nefer, oh, I like your work. answer. He says one until five happens. <laughs> That works, yep, because the yeah. hour in my bed. Yes, oh, it's that's totally true. dependent on the time of the day you're that watching is right. it too, right? So yeah. we have some feedback from YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, Retrocess says, because uh, we played this game, uh, Crystal Quest, the uh, platformer by um, Bob De Crescenzo. Okay. Uh, Crystal Quest is best played with a two-button controller with a D-pad. Mm. I would never play that with my Ed Ladin arcade stick, <laughs> which we did. It was a little challenging. It was. I definitely so found we'll it challenging. So probably play it with a, yeah. a pad next time. Um, I do like to complain about these things, too. <laughs> it's very much an Adventure Island Wonderboy clone, mm. which it is, yeah. Mm. Which I feel is best played with a control pad as well, even though Wonderboy was released in the arcades, which mm. I didn't know. Um, my attention is split to TV and watching ZBH. Yeah, that's fine. I'm often tinkering with code, so I can do both things badly. <laughs> um, uh, TKM Retro Gaming Nook said, Deep Stone Catacomb looks fantastic. It is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, great coverage the last few days. Uh, they were talking about the Atari Age days. Mm -hmm. uh, Atari Age day. Uh, glad I found your channel. Mm -hmm. well, welcome to the channel. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lionel Low or uh, uh, Lionel Io. Uh, a big hello from France. I'm a fan of the Atari 2600 and 7800. Thank you for your wonderful channel. You are a great duo. What about Atari? <laughs> yes. A great trio or quadro. Quadro, if, if I guess. Pixel is here. Yeah. I adore you. Uh, keep it up and thank you for all these great discoveries, that's which lovely. is great that we're able to expose people to homebrews they may not know about yeah. before. Um, and uh, they can uh, have some fun. Yes, there's the Atari. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, Daryl Genther, who mm -hmm. won for Best Atari 7800 Work in Progress Award in the last Atari Homebrew Awards, mm -hmm. um, sent in some photos oh, cool. for us to take a look at, um, which is always nice. I always ask people to send in their photos um from when they get awards or t-shirts mm. or anything to do with the show because i think it's fun for other people to take a look at um so you can see him there and he's in his personal arcade i know uh he's got look, his look at that popeye i'm sorry it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous those awards yeah. are gorgeous too but look <laughs> at that popeye arcade yeah it's that really is nice stunning. like the decals i was just yeah, he's got a really nice. That's, what a gorgeous machine! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's looks beautiful. like unfazed by time. It does. It's um, so bright. And he's got a, wow. a multi arcade there playing the uh, Revision F version of it. Wow. Uh, he's got a screen in the back background playing Kickman. He's got his version. That's awesome. On the seven eight hundred there. Um, so let's go to the next. And then he's got some mood lighting, nice. arcade mood lighting. A little bit closer up, uh, and there's a close-up of the awards nice. with a mock-up box mm -hmm. uh, that's being developed. I've seen that posted in the in the forums, um, and he's got the appropriate oh, got uh, the flooring, flooring. Yeah. the 80s, early 90s flooring I there. Love it. It's like every Cineplex or movie house or the arcade. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> And he's got Mario Brothers mm. off in the corner there. That's another really nice one too. I love yes. I love the old machines that have all the the artwork on decals. Them. I don't know what you would call that all along the edges. Let's try and name all the things. He's got a Sega uh, <laughs> Genesis with a 32x add-on. He's got a uh, uh, um, Sega Dreamcast Commodore 64 there. Uh, PS2 uh, C64 up there. An Atari something. Not super familiar with the Atari computers. Uh, looks like a Sears 2600 up in the top corner. You guys yeah. can't see it. It's cut off. You can see the Nintendo. I think that's cut off too. Uh, 7800 below. Looks nice. Like that's his daily driver right now. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice. That's very cool. And then a uh, close-up uh, nice. of the award there. Best Atari 7800 work in progress. I'm glad he got it. That's and excellent. And the framed... Um, award. Award, yeah. 
Very certificate, nice. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Really, really nice. Love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sending those photos in. I love seeing the photos uh, when they get there. Mm -hmm. um, oh, let's throw things around. That'll make them work better. <laughs> um, so usually, the first usually. game we're going to be playing is a two-player game, Tank to Tank. Okay. And it's spelled T-A-N-Q, and then a two, T-A-N-Q. Okay. Uh, it's a 2021 work in progress by Andre G.F. Antunes, uh, as known as Andre Gus, on the Atari Age forums. Nice. And it was first posted on May 2nd, and this build is from May 2nd. So let's take a look at that. Uh, if you want to grab this, uh -huh. I've already plugged in the other joystick to port two. Oh, okay. The tiny one. Which? Uh -huh. um, so let's make sure you can see it. Yeah, that would be that would be helpful. I'm like, what day is it? Every time, because you <laughs> put only it by one day. date, and I'm like, but there's oh, only one. You're making my brain work. I can't remember. There's only one day. There's no none to no, choose No, no, but sometimes there are multiple. Sometimes. Yeah, no, no. I, I just, every time I see that, I'm like, what? What day is it? <laughs> uh. So, tank to tank. Uh, press fire. Okay, so. Okay. Let's read about what this what is. What we're doing first? <laughs> yep. Uh, I've made a simple game for two players to have some fun playing online with friends. The name is Tank to Tank. The idea is a combat of two tanks in a battlefield. It's a work in progress. I think there are a few bugs, and the game needs some adjustment, adjustments and more content, but you can play it all on the homepage. Um, and he's provided a link on his homepage mm -hmm. to play it uh, through Javatari for, through the net play feature, so two people can play mm -hmm. remotely with each other. Um... Uh, controlled by two players in a battlefield of choice characterized by a specific pattern of terrains. In that field, the terrain color change from time to time, offering different advantages and obstacles to the player. The object is to destroy the opponent's tank. In order to advance and win, the player must chase the opponent, avoid unfavorable terrains, mm -hmm. use favorable terrains, avoid exploding mines, avoid not moving, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. for forcing the opponent to make mistakes, forcing the opponent to towards a bad terrain and press fire. Um, and he said, in times of pandemic and isolation, the possibility to, pl to play from a distance becomes good reasons for people to gather in the virtual world. Mm. Okay. So, um, I th it doesn't give a lot of instructions on how to pick mm, terrain. That? Okay. Um, but I think it's, we'll just, oh, you can change it. Mm. Up, down, nope. left, right. No, it did change. It was just random. Yeah. Um, press fire. So I am the bottom right. We're yeah. both the exact same color. Oh, that's mine. Ran into a mine. Oh, haha. I thought that was something I was supposed to get. Ah. Now, you will see some glitches on my system here. Because uh, my system's being really annoying. But I am figuring it out slowly. Now you notice you can't fire while you're moving. You have to stop to fire. Oh, I ran into it. Ah! We both have got each other once. Oh. Oh, you're right, you can't. I think I've lost more, have I? Uh, yeah. You, you, you count down, right? Yeah. It's like health. There's health and there's uh, lives. So if you lose all your health, then you lose a life. And then it starts, starts over. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, were you stuck in the terrain? Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Kind of makes sense. Because he doesn't label what terrain is what and what does what. I think the bullet speed is too what? slow. Has the number changed? The numbers changed. There That's is weird. a bug <laughs> in the game. It was, I did play it was this in before. Fives. Oh, it was I in did. Fives. I did play this before. Okay. And it uh, just to make sure it was all working. And there is a score bug. 
So this will kind of go on forever now. Will it? Um, because... Well, I'm going to go down to zero soon. No. No? No. Look, I'll just run into things and I'll oh, live you're... forever. Oh, yeah, your score hasn't gone down. Or no, it doesn't. It goes down it's... when I shoot you. Oh, oh, my, oh, yeah, my lives did go down. But the score is all crazy. I think it's like wrapped around or something. I don't think I've... Okay, so we're both six and six, whatever that means. Yeah, but what is the one zero zero? I don't know. I'm stuck. Oh, you can get stuck in things. That's ah. interesting. Um, okay, so now you're down to... Oh, you oh, cycled it's, around. To yeah, 55. now it's working a bit. I yeah, don't but, think the six ah. is proper, though. It was five before, but you cycled around. So you went from zero to 55, so you started over again. Yeah, 55 is the max lives? score. Now you oh, did. it's best to... Oh, oh, I ran into a bomb. You won. Looks mm. like there's some over-cycling issues. Um, possibly, but my system is being very glitchy. Mm. Um, it seems like it's a grounding issue with the 2600. Mm. Because I pull out the audio cable from the 2600 and the screen starts going crazy. Mm. So it's Quick grounding action. itself mm. somewhere else. Do we need to pull it open and check the grounds? Or not the... right now. No, no, obviously <laughs> yeah. not right now. <laughs> but yes, at but, some but point. But we, we'll need to see what's going on there. Yes. Okay. Because I will have to check whether it's being it's grounding itself properly because I think it's grounding itself externally. Mm. Um, and I've also unplugged, depending on what you plug into port 2, also the screen starts going nuts. That's crazy. Mm. Um, so press fire again. And it also doesn't respond immediately when you press fire to start the game. But when you can't shoot through certain things? It seems like it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can't shoot through that. But then you did shoot through then, something. No, it changed color. Oh, different on the colors color. have different. Uh, Interesting. Different oh. abilities. Uh, uh, the one thing I would definitely suggest is the bullets go faster because it's so easy to avoid the bullets unless you're like right up against them. Oh, yeah. It's actually one of the best tactics. To get yeah. In really close. Because otherwise. Oh, oh. what the. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. Ah, oh, damn. I should have taken advantage of that. You can push the other player. Ah, uh, uh, stuck. <laughs> you can get stuck. Ah, oh, I'm stuck. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, see those glitches? That's not the game. What glitches? Uh, the oh, massive the sh the lines shaky. on the screen? Yeah. Yeah. They go right across. Yeah, that is my system, not the game. So don't blame the game. It'll be throughout the show today. And the also the, um, the hit points are are weird. They're not counting down very correctly. See, I'm like 35 and 33. It should be going like 55, 50, 45, that kind of thing. Yeah. But I think it gets confused sometimes. Where am I? Who am I? That's me. <laughs> and and the fact that we're both the same color Can is a bit of an issue. Confusion. Um, I'm not sure why he made us both the same color. Can't shoot through that. I like the speed of the movement, though. The speed is very nice. Um, the terrain is very good too. It's very interesting. And the random, uh, exploding bomb <gasps> things on the screen is good. Oh, I got your toys. Oh, no. Almost done. And the fact that you can't move and shoot is good because it makes you have to pause mm -hmm. and think about what you're doing a little bit. But... Like, if I shot from... Ugh, I'm just about to prove that you could have dodged that. Yeah. Um, but it is very easy to dodge unless you're right up against the person. Oh, stop. 
<laughs> See, it's fairly simple to dodge. Hey, hey! <laughs> you really got to get in close. Ah. Oh, I cycled back around. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> ah, you turned into a cross, which is very interesting. Yeah. Oh, just missed the opportunity. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm there completely stuck. That was good. Possibly more terrain on the screen might be good. Yeah, different to terrains. Make it, to make it, um, to make the other person more stuck. Oh, that was a double hit. Ah, sometimes I think I've hit, but yeah, if you're moving, you can't shoot. Is it your color problem that's making them look the same? Uh, I don't think so. They look pretty much the same shade of green to me. Uh, they're very, very green. Ah. Stop shooting. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Okay, you're going to shoot me? No. You're going to push me? I'm just going to go beside you. Um, I they look a little cool. They may be a bit off. Uh, if, mm. if he has chosen two shades of green that are that similar, mm. you may want to change... The color a little bit so that it's they don't have to i mean they're probably going for military green yeah um you could almost make one brown and one green if you wanted or black well not yeah, black obviously uh, but yeah that wouldn't work too um, or gray or something like that yeah might be a bit dark Something that's not two shades of green. <laughs> not that I'm confused about who I am. I, at one point, it was getting pretty tight, but when we were kind of running around each other. And you travel the same speed as the bullet. Yeah, you so move you, really fast. So you can run away. I think the bullet should go faster than you. Uh, I agree with you, actually. Ah. Well, the mine hit you. <laughs> yeah, like like it just uh, landed on top of I you. Just got really unlucky. They're like little mice. They are. Fast moving mice. Oh, oh, oh! What was that? You turned into a cross. I know. Occasionally lose track of which one's me. Well, when we get in, when we bump, there oh, we go. You good job. Landed on something. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have any sound. I think it's just a really early, uh, really early version of it. Mm. Yeah. But playable. Unless I've Definitely playable. I've messed up the sound somehow, but I don't think so. Mm. It's grounding through the speaker. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there, there is a whole issue going on here I'm not super happy about it so that uh that is tank to tank mm -hmm. um very very simple i think it's just early stages right now i think this is beautiful the little oh. um trophy screen yep is that like a guy with That's his hands nice. up going Woo! oh it, yeah one. maybe i thought it was like a, a cup shaped trophy but no I, I it does actually look like a guy with his hands I think it might be that um okay so next That's so cute we are going to compete in the high scores for Robot City. If you want to load mm. that up, we are not using the cartridge version of it because um, everybody has to be able to play this. And so the, the version that's oh, being used is one linked from the Harmony Games mm. page. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, what did it say on there? RC8 or something? Where? Sorry? The on thing there? you clicked? Oh, uh, I missed I missed that. Okay. There was only one to choose from, so I no, just picked it's for it, other but people I, I didn't really know. I didn't look too closely. That's okay. It flashed up. <laughs> you can always rewind. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing uh level four. Mm -hmm. Where the tanks can revive each other. See I unplugged the audio. Look what it does. Mm. Craziness. Massive amounts of craziness. Let's 
Sounds fine. That does. Okay, let's see if we have audio, because we should. Okay. Oh, that's it. Does it work? How does... Press the button. Can you start it? Four, oh. though. I thought you could pick... Never mind. There's audio. It is pretty jumpy. Look at it. I know. I know. Just playing around with it today. Trying to make it better. Um... I got rid terrible. of most of the grounding issues. The 7800 is okay. I don't think it is. Ah! But we could oh. try that. I'm gonna try oh, the come on! <laughs> I remember the colors are bad on this, so. Oh, on the 7800, yeah. That so out. I just learned something. What did you learn? Do not destroy one of the tanks. Okay. In the place where your helicopter responds. Probably. Because it just it respawned okay. and then died instantaneously. And I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> you can't win that because he stays dead there. The tank. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. Um, not a good idea. So, you know, I learned oops. something today. Uh-oh. It's not going to have a high of a quality, but if it's not jumpy, maybe it'll be better. Better to play. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the key. Oh, it is. The the green is quite a different green, isn't it? Yeah, Seeing the it color side is by different. Side, yeah. And uh, it's having some issues with the video signal oh, coming no. out of it. We're going to stick with the 2600 so. right now. Yeah, that's there's fine. Some there's some major issues happening there. We don't see it. No one's seeing it <laughs> right now. Well, yeah. That's an issue, too. Um. Mm. You should see it in a second. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. This oh, looks a little better. Happening? It's not all jumpy. Oh. What's so crazy that it destroyed the video capture? <laughs> That's not good. Uh, uh. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the opposite of Rage Reset. I hope this works, because sometimes I have to reboot my computer to get it going again. Why did we fail? Wonders of modern tech. Yeah. Lol says Danny VC. <laughs> the more sophisticated it gets. Or, or the intersection of modern and old tech. <laughs> there we go. Okay, load it up, please. Hurrah! Oh, or you can't. I cannot, because I am not plugged in. Because I switch things, because we're going to use the other system. It's probably going to start jumping again. Since I plugged that in, I did see a jump. Uh, it's not. Oh, a little. See? worse there's, there's grounding it's issues it's and the joystick is it's not as bad as it issue. well it is a little bit there the okay. joystick is Start it up. the joystick is part of the whole equation because mm -hmm. it's grounding itself through like multiple different things i think mm. it's not for cats <laughs> he's like can i help your grounding issue i can choose some cords well that would definitely do something <laughs> Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. So it's just a little jumpy. Just ignore it. These guys. So let's over here. Take a look at Robot Come City. Get me. An action strategy game there by Thomas go. Yench. Engage. Pilot your hypercopter through the urban canyons of Robot City, which is protected by swarms of heavily armored, intelligent robot tanks. Be fast. Be smart, and get them before they get you. Five game variations. Optional two-player assist mode. Generated maze for increased replay value. Ge challenging enemies with smart AI. Atari Vox and save key. High score save. It. So, the challenge of this is uh, playing in level four. And level four 
is described as uh, hard. Yes. There is four tanks. You get four helicopters or hypercopters actually, and those are iBots, not tanks. Get them, get them before he revives them. Oh, get them. Um, the game speed is four out of five. Uh, the iBot AI is four out of five, so they get smarter. Apparently. Do they? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna get them! Yay! Ah. Oh, careful! Oh. Um, the maze variety is four out of five. Not sure what that means. Mm. Tanks revive other tanks. Yes, that's the really that is cha that makes the game challenging. That's the really hard part you have to keep about them away this one. From each other. It's about leading them to places where they're not gonna come up this way. Uh, the year is 2601. Invasion. An unknown mechanical life form has touched down on the dark side of the moon. Mining, building, and replicating, it has begun to cover the surface with astonishing speed, appropriating our outposts and communication towers. Any attempt to halt the progress of this robot city is met with resistance from hundreds of intelligent robot tanks that swarm all over it. So these are the protectors of a robot city that's being built. Equipped with an indestructible protective shield and massive firepower, they have wiped out almost all of our forces. Uh, you and your hypercopter are the only hope left. Fortunately, the iBots have a weakness. Their shields only protect the front and sides of the craft. Also, by using the walls of the city to protect yourself, it's even possible to trick their AI into making them shoot one another. This game oh. is very cool, as for mirrors. It is oh. awesome. So simple of a concept. Oh, you're gonna die. I am. No! <laughs> <laughs> but beware, destroy one group, and in the next area, a more aggressive pack will be waiting to hunt you down. So you are out of hypercopters. You've got an energy bar in the middle, which gives you more score, the more you have. Uh, the maze of each city is randomly generated, so when you enter a city, plan your strategy wisely. As soon as you move, the bots, the iBots, start hunting you. you know? Oh, just in time. Their shots are deadly, and touching them is deadly too. Even after they've been destroyed, iBot wreckage uh, forms an impenetrable, impenetrable barrier which alters the city layout and forces you to alter your strategy. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to revive him. No! Oh, no. no. Oh. Gonna... That was close. He's going to revive him. No! Get him quick! Get him! Oh, you shot the wrong one. No! And they're all right. Oh, no! Oh, he, he shot the other guy. No, and then he revived him. Yeah. This is so hard. <laughs> uh, if you can't attack them from behind, try, to, oh, no. try to lure them into shooting, shooting each other. Oh. Escape, escape. Oh. oh no. Now you're dead. <laughs> That's so hard. 400 points. Oh. <laughs> the picture froze? No? It is now. No, no, he said that before. Uh -huh. uh, reload, because the picture's not frozen yet. So you got 400 yeah. points. So T400. Terrible. Reboot Dan ABC. Restart. Reload. Oh, thank you, Dan. Uh, each hypercopter has a limited amount of energy per city. An alert will warn you when it's low. If energy runs out, you lose a hypercopter. So, uh, you gain points per iBot destroyed, even if it was shot by another iBot. And remaining energy when a city has been cleared. The points depend on game variation. So you get uh, 40 points for each iBot, and 4 points for each energy unit left. And you really get most of the points from that. I believe Thomas Yench said during our last, when we had him on during the Atari Age day, that on the higher levels, when you're pursuing them, they always take the turns. So it's harder. Oh, oh shoot. you done yourself in. There you go. Bye -bye. Just barely. Get 
get out of there. There you go. Perfect. Oh, man. <clears throat> Every two cities, a bonus hypercopter is awarded. You can keep a maximum of four hypercopters in reserve. The game keeps track of the high score of the current game variation uh, through the save key or Atari box. High scores will not be recorded for games where the enemy AI has been influenced with a second joystick. Uh, that's smart. So as soon as the second player touches that joystick... Um, you can start controlling things. You can start controlling the enemy AI, but it's not saved because it's not a real score. You could have gone around the other side, Michelle. Mm, maybe. And he's going to come up for you. <clears throat> Acknowledgements. Game design and program by Thomas Yench. Illustration and manual designed by David Exton. Published by Atari Age. Special thanks. How about your Russo, Atari Age, and its wonderful, supportive community? Stephen Anthony. Maintain your Rosella, a great emulator and development tool. James Earl O'Brien and Zero Page Homebrew for bringing this game back to my attention. Well, you're welcome. Robot City is based on a very addictive and Odyssey 2 prototype game, Robot City, written by Graham Thomason. You refreshed and it works now, Dan? Excellent. So, there are scores already put up on the board for this. Mm -hmm. uh, Arena Foot has 848 points, which is pretty good. Uh, and Thomas actually played it and put in his score. 3,820. So... Good luck with that. Um, he said, I thought I should provide some challenge for James's show tonight. <laughs> and then he said, you both can do it. 3,820. 3, Get him. You have to, you have to, not too close, but close enough. There, there you go. go. Oh, that was close. <gasps> oh, oh, they stay dead, though. They do, and they're all in a corner there, so that's good. You gotta get those other guys before they go rescue. What are you doing? There's a little turnaround up there. You can. Oh, you're leading them over. No, I'm not. Trouble. Not intentionally. Mm. Oh, you're just going in terrible. Uh, Robot City by Thomas Yench won for best under 4K game port. Oh, we'll be fly. playing on level four. Um, he said, uh, Thomas mentioned this high score uh, challenge and suggested either three or four. I played on three, but I didn't think it would be good. We we're coming to end of season and of the season I tried four, so I figured to use it. Oh, excellent. Nice. Very good. The round starts on May 8th. It's a couple days ago. Um, and ends on June 6th. Ooh, this one's challenging. <clears throat> Get him. Get him. Oh, oh you missed him. Get out of oh. there. No. If this is Robot City, then you play the invader, the bad guy. Uh, well, in the in the instructions, it says the robots are taking over the human bases on the dark side of the moon and destroying the human stuff. Oh, you oh. Sh should have got out of there. Oh, it's okay. You still have a stick. Get him. Stop it. Clump of, clump of robots there. Oh, 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 oh. Should have gone oh. down. No, I was, wasn't was going the way I wanted it to. <laughs> That's annoying. <clears throat> 820. You almost have uh, arena foot score. But not quite. Not quite. Thing about the long passageways because you want him towards the end. Oh, I'm I see. doing that intentionally. <laughs> you keep saying that. Do it now. No, that's well, not he takes my up intent. that whole area anyway, no matter where he is in that corridor. Nice. Now you've got an easy one. Oh. Just get him in a loop somewhere where there's a loop and start following him. <clears throat> nice. One thousand. Right. <clears throat> Gorgeous artwork on this by David Exton. I love the 
centerpiece where it shows the Atari console as if it was like um, it's like built into the land at first I thought it was like a TV console in your helicopter but it's you can actually see like raised parts and buildings and stuff it's a long pieces in this one don't get trapped there <clears throat> Perfect. Get down. Oh, you could have got both of them down there, maybe. Mm. No? The long corridors cause a lot of problems. It is very deadly. Oh. Ooh, perfect. Kind of. Get them. Go down. Get both of them. Down, down, down. Shoot, then shoot. It's good because they're long and it takes forever for yeah. them to go. Getting stuck in a long corridor? <coughs> Dangerous. <coughs> Very, very dangerous. Yes. I don't know if they speed up at all throughout the game. It's just the same over and over again with different um, mazes. Yes, lure that guy up. Perfect. So really the key is to lure them away from each other. Oh, that's not So that you spot. only have to deal with... No, it's not great. Ooh, you're gonna come after me? Nice. Gonna rescue his friend, that's for sure. No, they're not necessarily that smart. Oh, maybe they're. Oh! Loop oh. around. Oh. Get him to. Sh oh. It's trouble. Oh no, is he gonna come down? Yeah, perfect. Get him. This caused me a lot of trouble. Coming down? Yeah, you come down. You go that way. This is a <laughs> terrible. Long corridors. Whoa, Ooh. that was close. One pixel away. Oh, that wasn't good. Ooh, if you get him looping around that bottom piece there. Oh. Perfect, you'll get him. Don't run into him. Nice. Ooh, Ooh, very well. Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> very well. I think you will. Yeah. This is this is super challenging. Ah, well you got him to shoot his friend. <sighs> shoot your friends. <laughs> that guy. Oh, it did the thing again. Go down, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Nice. <sighs> you can't run. Don't accidentally. Just bringing that up. Yep. <sighs> <sighs> Going back to Azur's comment, to them you definitely are the bad guy. It feels oh, like oh, oh traps. Oh, well, you you got an extra life because you uh, made it pretty far. This, this is corridor a, is really this long. This is a nasty, nasty, nasty corridor here. Yeah. Get both of them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Oh, quick, quick, quick! Oh. Ah! Almost. The map is similar to one of the Junior Pac-Man maps. Yeah, I... Oh, no. Yeah, I guess you're gonna uh, eventually get some... Ooh, you're lucky that guy at the top didn't turn around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, come on! You're supposed to shoot each other! Oh, he's gonna rescue him. He's gonna just touch him, maybe? No. Oh, run! Hesitated. Oh, man. This is a tough one. It's a tough one. And it's random. Like, the maze you get is random, so you could get five easy ones in a row and then and then get a hard one. Or get a hard... Get this one as your first maze. Oh, I was trying to... You have, I always try to outrun them, and that's what kills me. has to be really me. far away. 1924. Not terrible. Not the greatest, but not terrible. <clears throat> Thank you, Dan. Awesome. Oh. I'd be very happy with that. I am happy with it, but yeah. I, I can do better, but I had a few little mishaps. It's a good game, though. Oh, so I like good. games that have that little bit of strategy, and 
when you start figuring out how to get them to shoot each other, you can oh. really take advantage of that. You can. It's hard because... It's hard, but you can get... You can figure it out. You also have to dodge the bullets really well. How come the green guy wasn't firing at him? I don't okay. know. <clears throat> like, did a double turnaround. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Good job. Careful. Run away! <laughs> oh. oh, mean! Oh, no. There you go. It's going to save him. No. Good. You can chase around him. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Two left. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Yeah. He will chase you if you're within a certain distance. No. Now you can go. I want you to go past. Perfect. That's exactly you can what chase I want him. you to do. Yeah. Woo. <clears throat> 248. Nice. Yeah, these long court, those long quarters at the top, deadly. Oh, oh, look at this! Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and then they unfortunately shoot each other. I know they oh. revive each oh, other. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Go up, go up, go straight, go straight. Thank you. You can manipulate them. You can. You a want to be a little bit. Oh, that was probably not the best spot. But it's okay. Oh, okay. Shoot each other again. Uh, yeah, but see, it doesn't work. It oh, doesn't quite oh, work. I got one of them. I got one of them. You need to come up here. Come oh, oh, oh. Oh. Damn it. Oh, almost had it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's better to draw them to the upper part and try, trying to shoot them at the top because, yeah. Again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> go. Get the red guy. Just careful you don't. Oh. oh. You can get him. Oh, I thought he was going to save the other guy. So did I. But he Sometimes was foolish. they're not thinking. They're just thinking, how do I get this guy? <sighs> or they're not thinking at all. I was going to be dead many times <laughs> on that level. No, you. Ugh. Okay, shoot each other then. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, bastard! You, you shoot. Somebody shoot you. There. The shooting works well when they can't revive each other. There we go. Okay, get him. Um, because the problem is, is when they can, they end up kind of running into each other anyway. Yeah. This way, all the way over here. Nope. Go up then. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Yes. Okay, you come all the way over here. Careful. Careful. I know. Yeah. I like it. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. Nope. Could have shot both of them. Now they're both going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Try to shoot them. <laughs> Doesn't quite work that way. Down, perfect. Why did you do that? You're so silly. Mm. So go up silly. and around. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'll get you. I'm slowly oh, helicoptering he's... my way over. Yeah, good job. Thank you. Fast enough. Yes. Quickly. Just in time. Yep. Excellent. That guy's going down a long corridor. You can get him. Woot! Good job. Uh, long corridor. Mm -hmm. First death. Was it? No. Mm -hmm. no, 
That's not your first time. <laughs> but you go up. You still have a lot go of Go up. Go up. Ugh. Useless. <laughs> oh. Don't shoot him in the corner. You'll respond. Don't don't shoot him in the corner. If you respond there, you're screwed. down here. Run away. Oh, go, up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Nope. Nope, get out of there. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. He's going to revive his friends. Maybe get out oh, of there. Oh, God. Get out of there. What are you doing? I can't. Oh, no. I want the red to go down. Nope. Not going to happen. <sighs> I don't like this level. Oh, this is rough. Maybe then you can get the green guy to shoot the red guy. Mm. And I can get the green guy? No. Mm -hmm. uh, get that blue guy in that little corner in there. Up, come around again. Guy, come up here. Come up here. Oh, it's fine, I guess. At least they're not reviving their friends. Now, if the green guy stays down there. Yeah, you can get this red guy. Good job. And just lure him to a place right where he's not going to. He's not going to revive, revive a friend. Actually, if you can go up here, that would be good. There. Oh, Ooh, even better. Get him. Yeah. stressful. It is. Even though it's not super high action. No! <laughs> it's There's it's something slow, about it that's like a methodical. slow pace, but stressful. It's like, very strategic. Because, because you, you, you can't predict where they're gonna go. It's like, come this way, and then they don't do what they're supposed to, you know? Oh, this is terrible. There's too many of them down there. You have to so spread them out, here. I think, a lot of the when, when they can revive each other, you kind of need to pull them apart. You do. Better. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Run. Oh. Get out of the way. Get down. Get down. Oh. Get down. Oh, down you there. You got to get away when they're, when they're up there because of the corridors. It's going to be the end. Oh, it's a hard end. <laughs> I don't like this level. That's hard. It's not a good one. Just gonna revive him. Yep, of course. Hmm. Yeah, this is a hard level. I'm have to take a dive and get in here. Oh no, no, I would nope. no, I would not. You just oh, cause yourself a lot of trouble. Oh my! <laughs> Don't know how you're still alive. <laughs> Skill. Pure skill. <laughs> skill. <laughs> that was all skill. Ouch. It was. And lots of luck, too. <laughs> wow, that was tight. <laughs> uh, yes, if any of them made one different move, it would have been over. Okay, orange guy. Come on up here. Let's put you there. You. Oh, I can get you in that corridor as long as the blue guy doesn't. Okay, it's okay. Get him. Can I get down there? Nope. Nope. Okay. Just lead them up. Lead them to the top. Okay, blue. Yes, just blue. Come up here and go one way or the other and I'm ready. Even better. Okay. That was. Oh, perfect. Go get him. Don't get shot. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah! Woo! Pull is closed. Pull is closed. We'll take a look at the results. <sighs> nice. Oh, that was so bad. This is where I ended, I think. No, no. You're, you're no, no. I died on this. Was it this level? No, it was a different one. 
This one's challenging because it's pretty open. Oh god. No, no, no. Good. Whew, perfect. Yeah. Not anymore. It's not open. And death to orange. Okay, I'm going to stay down there. Yep. Okay. <sighs> no free life. Oh, this is the one you died in. This one? Yeah, this one? This one is... There's a lot of extended corridors. No, 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 no. no. Oh, that was a bad choice. <laughs> 2364. Mm. Pretty happy with that. Uh, oh, Dan's doing... Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just stay in the chat. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. You closed the chat. No, that wasn't the chat. Well, you did close the chat. Uh, craziness. Oh, okay, Dan got it. Good. Uh, I think I'll stay on that one for now. That was a very good run, I think. Um, super fun game. The poll numbers. People code and work. What you doing? Just setting it up. Oh. Putting the dark screen on. That's <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, co people code and work the most code while and they work. watch yeah. the show. That, I can, I can, yeah, Thirty six percent, and then in second place, twenty seven percent. So it's like 50, 60, 65 nice. sixty five percent, sixty four percent. So a few people do fall asleep to it, though. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I like that. More people fall asleep than play video games at the same time. <laughs> and there's other, yeah. And the least is chores and video games. That's funny. Okay, next game is Cannon Head Clash. Mm. I've already put in my score for this one. Oh. So it's all on you. Wow, wonderful. Not great at this. I played it again at, on Atari Age Day, so that was fun. Yep. So you should have a little bit of practice with this. Mm -hmm. Load it up, please. Oh, we're not playing the real one, are we? Uh, no, we can't. The real we have to play the full with the, uh, the one that everybody else plays. Excellent. Other writing books for me. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Yeah, there were some others. Others, 13%. Cannon Head Clash. Ready your cannons and take aim at your opponent. So the it's um, exclamation mark and four for win. And single player, yeah. So it's just your highest... You have to get... Well, the highest number. People have already got four to zero, so you have to get four to zero, really. I'm terrible. And you lost it already. It's okay. It's <laughs> so you can practice a couple times. Can we see? No. Ask me. There you go. Video! <laughs> um, dodge oncoming fire and defend your turf in an intense head to head action. Uh, take on the computer or compete with a friend. Play on 10 preset maps or play on randomized terrain. So what we picked is randomized terrain, where it's kind of just slopey. It's, it doesn't have anything like... Nice. <laughs> Very good. When they, Four when, to one. When they jump in the water all the time, it... it uh... So uh, Arena Foot and I have four to zero already. Nice. So unless somebody else is snuck in, you could get third place. Is it just... I mean, you already have third place, but somebody could still beat you for third if you don't get four and zero. And there's a very good chance that somebody will. Um, oh, yeah. So, game design, programming, graphics, and sound by Blue Swimmer. Label, manual, and box design by Vladimir Zuniga. Which gorgeous box. Oh my god. VHZC did an amazing job on this box. And um, all the graphics. How about zero to four? <laughs> uh, that would be the worst score you could get. <laughs> uh, let's see so yeah it's first to four because you picked four. Oh, close nice two to zero on your way 
Oof. Nice, three to zero. The goal of the, game, of the game is to hit the other cannon head with one of your bombs, or cause the other player to fall into the water. Yes! Four zero! Third Yay. place! Woo! <laughs> and that is that. <laughs> that is that. <laughs> Pretty much. That's uh, such a cute game, though. I like it. Do you want to play some one on one? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, first, play uh, random levels, and then we'll um, mm. then we'll play one on one. Random is what the uh, question mark. Those are the random built-in levels. Went to four. Sure. Yeah. Um, charge by holding down the fire button. So the longer you hold the fire button, the further and higher the, higher the arc is that it goes. The bullet goes. Marina Foot says third. <laughs> is it actually third? Or did somebody sneak in? I'm sure someone snuck Let's in. Let's check. Ooh. Don't know how Clubs. that did kill me. Atari Video Club. Oh, On the game. Zero to two. Oh, no. Oh, there's a new post there. Oh, arena foot put something there. Oh, no. Nope, so you are third. Recorded on my spreadsheet. Oh, thank you, Dan. So this is level um, seven. Should you stay up top or go down for more room to maneuver? Decisions, decisions. Each of these has their own um, little write up each of the levels. Oh, and you play on the same level, all four. Oh, really? It looks like it, yeah. Right? Oh. <laughs> That's a bug in the code. Is it? Like, he didn't intentionally, like, when we talked to him, when we interviewed him on Atari Age Day. Oh, the falling off. He says the falling off is a bug in the code. It's not... He, well, didn't, he didn't program him to randomly fall off. Um, it just does just, that. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. Two player. Level, sure. Push mark to four, four is fine. Already. Yep. Castles. I am blue. Tanya is still red. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I want to win, but you know. uh, it all works. Oh, I ran right into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does random levels here. That's interesting. It didn't seem to do it when you were playing the computer, though. It was just this one over and over again. Maybe that was, like, a bad random. How come I can't get up there? I'm not holding it down far long, long enough. Explosions. One more. Okay. <laughs> we don't have much of an island left. Reminds me of Tower of Rubble. It is a little bit. Fun fact, Blue Swimmer was working on Tower of Rubble at the same time as, um, <laughs> just on the edge, as, um, oh, what's his name? Dion. Dion. <laughs> Um, but uh, Dion was a little bit further ahead, so Blue Swimmer. Oh god. Yeah, that's how you do it. Wrapped. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh god, I'm trapped again. Help me out here. <laughs> Not that way. Mm -mm -mm. Oh! Oh, first shot. <laughs> that answers that question whether uh, things just fall into the into the pit. <sighs> Couldn't go anywhere. I yeah, I probably would have fallen in the water, eh? If you moved, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Dion, yes, thank you, Marco. <laughs> Excellent. So. You put your name up there on mm -hmm. the boards. Good job. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't ask you if you wanted to do Robot City again to mm -hmm. beat your score. No, you're happy with I'm that? I'm happy with that. It's a hard game. It, it takes is. a little while to get there, too. Okay. Um, on to the fourth game, mm -hmm. which is... A game I've never played before. Yes, and I've played it very little. It's Plaque Attack. Nice. Which... Uh, funny enough, has Actiplac all over all it. All over it. Look at that Actiplac. Yeah. Oh, let's go to the webcam. Look at that. Beautiful example of Actiplac all over the cartridge. Um, so let's see if we can actually boot up this cartridge. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes I have to clean them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Splendid Night. Just over an hour in and we're already to the fourth game. Yeah, the last two were pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. well, this may not work. Oh no! Spitting it. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that would be... Do you need some meth uh, uh, isopropanol or something? Uh, we'll play it off the harmony card. Okay. It doesn't work. <laughs> we might be down to three games if uh, this one isn't working. No, no, no. Should I, should I, do you want me to get ethanol? Uh, ethanol? Yes, please. Isopropanol? And some Q-tips. Yes, well, a couple more times. And then we'll go to the harmony cart and I'll clean it independently. Yep, okay. Go into the harmony cart. Poor plaque attack. Destroyed by ant, by plaque. Blow it. I'll blow in the back of it. For good luck. <laughs> okay. There we go. Pressure washer works great. What you doing? It's in the closet. It's in the closet beside the drawers. In there. Up on your side. Try on the 7800. 7800 is not responding well today. I was fiddling with mostly the 2600, so it might have caused some trouble. And for those of you, actually, we did play this on the show before a little bit because this is a trackball re release. Um, it doesn't say who did it, but you can get this at Atari Age, new on cartridge, uh, and a trackball version of this. Um, it was okay on trackball. I don't know if it's better or worse, but we're going to play it on um, joystick, or is it one of those games that don't work on the 7800? Um, there's very few that don't work on the 7800. So Tanya's having some trouble finding things, so I am going to just quickly play. So you're the tube of toothpaste. And you shoot the things that are coming for your teeth. And first wave is hamburgers, and each wave has a different graphic to it. And you can't see it because you're looking at my floor. There we go. Sorry, disoriented. We see full screen cat cam. <laughs> Distracted. Oh my god, that took a long time. Okay, you're playing. I'm Me? cleaning. Alright. What am I doing? Shooting, Shooting things. 
Don't it. let them eat your teeth. Oh. Okay. I probably have never played this cartridge. That's probably why it's... Oh, it's dirty. It's a dirty cartridge. That's cute, it rolls up. Yeah, that shows you how Adorable. much... Uh, left you have of your toothpaste. I think you lose a tooth or the game is over when you run out of toothpaste? Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> I'm sure you've never used it. Nope. It's 40 years of... French fruit. fries. Now I'm just hungry. You had French fries for dinner. Oh, pretty good. Triple fried. Triple fried. Flaky sea salt. Oh. oh. See? No. Full screen cat cam. No, 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 not anymore. Not anymore. Oh. Okay, that should be clean. We'll see ah, in a bit. Ah, ah. Now they're moving. Oh my god! Oh defend my the tooth! God. Defend the tooth! How do defend I defend the tooth? The tooth? You How? It. You How? I, I, I can't move. I can't get in front of it. You have to go down. Down to turn around. Down? Down to turn around. Oh! Things, yeah. things I wish I knew uh, a few Sorry. minutes ago. <clears throat> so, this was put out in May 1983. Oh, you just missed. Just missed. <gasps> uh, this so... is by Steve Cartwright, who also did Barnstorming, Frostbite, Mega Mania, Plaque Attack, and Sequest. This is a lot in common with Mega Mania. Um, even the timing of the shots. Um, if you sh when they're coming straight for you. Oh, you're losing your teeth. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. That's a bad looking mouth there. Much longer. <laughs> uh, Plaque Attack is a 1983 video game for the Atari 2600 that was made by Activision. Uh, the player must shoot food to protect teeth inside a person's mouth. Steve Cartwright, who designed the game, said the game was meant to help people develop good dental habits. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> sure. And that's what you tell the parents. We're buying the game. So defend that tooth with your life. Just aim at it. Don't let anybody near it. Turn around. Aim at it. So, um, high scores. The highest score I could find. Ah, oh, dead. Well, you have one tooth in reserve. Do I? Every 2,000 you get an extra tooth. Two or four. Please two. Um... Highest score that I could find on the internet was 88,870. So you're one tenth of the way there. <laughs> it ramps up. It's one of those Activision games that just. Oh, it no, just you. hits it. I mean. Well, you could make it to 10 and get an extra tooth if you shoot a bunch of them before your toothpaste runs out. I don't know. Oh, almost. 400 left. Oh, toothpaste almost out. Oh, oh, it's out. No, I wouldn't have made it. 96, 95. Ooh, that's, that's not easy. Yep. So, I'm going to get you to read the manual while I play my game. Okay. 1983. Cute. I like it. I like little sprites. So, where did you get to? Nowhere. Oh, all of it? Yep. Easier. Right. Activision Dental Defense Manual. <laughs> dental Defense Manual. Flash. Across America, awful jawfuls of junk food are causing deadly dental decay. Black is spreading its invisible film, turning teeth yellow as they decompose before our very eyes. Okay. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Yes, you have good teeth. Yes, yes. you do. You don't eat junk food. <laughs> you just eat all of the other cat's food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh my God. 
blast this oh yeah blast this junk with toothpaste before it gets to your teeth and don't let up this is the black attack by cuspid the last stop before gum city this is sort of psychedelic <laughs> it's kind of psychedelic. It's very strange the point of view is very weird yeah. hook up your video game system no, follow manufacturer's no. instructions no you don't need to read that with that's power so off, plug in game cartridge. No, don't read that. That's so <laughs> Turn power on. If no picture appears, check connection for your game system to your. What does it say about this glitchiness? <laughs> then getting. repeat steps one through three. What does it say about modded 2600? Hey, so. there are a lot of people out there who have no idea how to run one of these systems, so. Wi Fi? Where? <laughs> how do I connect this to yeah, Wi Fi? Where's the HDMI cord? Where's the HDMI? <laughs> Plug in joystick controllers. Solar player uses left joystick. That's what we're doing. <laughs> James didn't follow these steps. No, he did not. I skip them every time. <laughs> Set both difficulty switches to B to begin. Switches in this position will cause fast, continuous fire from your tube when the red button is depressed. Oh, it's depressed. Oh. Um, set switches in position A for slower, continuous fire. Fast fireplace. Those donuts look quite good. They are very. Um, All of them are great. Really great graphics. Mm -hmm. yeah, hard fast. No! Oh, I lost a tooth. Well, you did better than I did. Um. Note to owners of Sears Telegames Video Arcade. Difficulty is called skill. Oh, it is? A is expert and B is novice. I don't know in any of the Sears versions no. of these games. Select the game. I love that they have to point that out. Uh, select oh. the game with the game select switch. Game one, one player, advance, difficulty and points increase rapidly as your score rises. Damn it. Game two, two players, same as above. Game three, one player, beginner, less rapid increase in difficulty, less rapid increase in points. Game four, two players, same as above. Reset to start the game. Damn it. Damn it. This is my favorite, this is my favorite instruction. This? What is? Okay. The joystick controller is held with a red button in the upper left position. Mine doesn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a patch challenge? Yes, it is. 35,000 is the score. Ooh. Oh, these guys. Oh, that's my tooth. I'm good at getting them fast. Whew! Time is a factor. As soon as you press games to reset, you'll have 35 seconds to wipe out each wave of food. Your tube will shrink as time runs out. Scoring. Points are scored each time you shoot a food article. Bonus points are received at the end of every wave for each tooth remaining and for each second of time left. So the more teeth you have left, the more bonus. Oh yeah. So you want to keep them as it's not easy. Very hard. These are so fast at eating your teeth. Rot them quick. Really quick. I'm just gonna get it. Oh, come on. You get a bit for what you have in the toothpaste, and you get a lot for the teeth. Oh my god. And dead. Oh, barely not dead. I just got a bonus tooth. I can get... Running out. Oh, and dead. It takes nothing. Because <laughs> they can eat them from any position. Yeah, And they're I know. so fast. Oh, I'm so far away from extra tooth. So the donuts give you quite a few points, actually. The donuts specifically? Yeah, points per hit. 
You can zoom in, you know. You have so much room there. Oh, no, it's fine. Hamburgers, <laughs> 5. Hot dogs, 10. 27090. If somebody could type Pretty that in. Good. Dan or somebody. Fries, 15. Strawberries, 20. Gumdrops, 25. Donuts, Thank 30. You, candy canes, 35. Ice cream cones, 40. So you get more points. I'm not going to beat that. Oh, you just have to beat your own score. Can't even Ready? remember what I got before. Not even 10,000. Ready? Yep. After the eighth wave, the scoring peaks and the food cycle repeats. Bonus teeth. You begin with eight teeth in your mouth. That's terrible. With each increase of 2,000 points, a bonus tooth will appear beneath your score. Bonus teeth are automatically placed in your mouth at the beginning of the next wave. The game ends when you've lost all your teeth and you've used up your toothpaste. Junk food cycles. When you've blasted all the food in eight waves of the uh, all eight of the waves, brace yourself for a super plaque attack. All eight waves will return in ferocious retaliation. Mm. And the harder you work, the harder they work, taking on hectic motion patterns and evading your moves with each cycle. Limited time, unlimited shots. There's no limit to the number of shots you could fire. However, your toothpaste tube will shrink as time runs out and eventually disappear. Careful, without a tube in your mouth, your teeth are defenseless against the food remaining in that wave. Dental restoration. Once plaque attacks a tooth, it turns yellow, but it can be saved if you act quickly. An immediate blast of toothpaste at the food invaders will wipe out the food and plaque and restore your tooth's health and whiteness. If you lose all your teeth at first, don't get too down in the mouth. All you need is practice. You'll soon develop a sense of rhythm and timing. Notice that the food waves alternatively attack the top and bottom, so begin to anticipate their movement. Be generous in your shots of toothpaste. That is, blast away. You've got nothing to lose since the shots are limited and time is of the essence. Well, it does have some tips about how to keep your teeth clean in the, in the manual. Steve is one of Activision's most prolific game designers. His previous releases, uh, Barnstorming, Mega Mania, and Sequest quickly established his outstanding reputation. Aside from video games, Steve enjoys motorcycle touring, photography, and brushing after every meal. Um, so, there were some tips from the... High score club in the Atari age form. Mm. Spend the earlier levels gathering points and extra teeth. Don't forget you get an extra one every 2,000 points. A full mouth equals big points if you keep more teeth later. I mean, that automatically comes with just playing well. Like, the, you can't just get teeth. You get teeth with points, and the faster you kill things, the more points you get. Um, once the game gets faster, try not to flip your tube too much much. It's distracting and will cause you to lose targets. Try to stay near the top or bottom at first. The game automatically locates you based on the way the enemy is coming each round. Then slowly edge towards the middle. Flip over when they go in the opposite direction and repeat the process. Kicking ass on your old score. Oh, it's stressful. <laughs> I swear there's like some horrible... God! Oh my God! When the game gets faster, hold down the fire button. Oh, I always hold it down. Maybe it's better not to hold it down. Oh, go down! Oh. You have to go up and then down to turn around. I know, around. I don't like that. I don't like the turning around. It's not great. Well, it only has one button, so what can you do? have to do strategize. Hot dogs! Eat your teeth! Uh, later levels are all about survival, not getting extra teeth. You should cover that early on. For later levels, once you're down to a single tooth, focus on it. Unless there aren't any enemies close, be aiming right towards it so you can take out anything that gets close. Using this method, you can last quite long in later levels. Make sure you do it, though, because as things get faster, the enemies also decay your teeth faster. Yes. So if you move around too much, you'll find yourself losing a ton of teeth in a matter of a split second. Don't worry about shooting endlessly, it does not affect your time. The timer naturally goes down regarding 
regardless of how many times you fire, so it's to your damage, especially in later levels. Just blast away and move like crazy. They're dodgy, aren't they? They are. There we go. Doing so good. Oh. Almost up to my score. I'm so stressed. <laughs> These guys, these guys just destroy your teeth! I think this is where I died, this, this level. I'm just Actually, going those, back and forth. Those teeth are in perfect position. Yes, they are. No! Oh. One cherry. I get it. Come on, you silly cherry. Run out of toothpaste and lose, it, lose that tooth. Oh my god. You lose the tooth? Yeah, because he eats it. Mm. Oh my god! And it's over. This is what happened to you. Wasn't Pretty it? Too much. It was, yeah. it was the donuts? Um, was it the donut level? Did I survive the cherry level? That was the donuts. Oh, many donuts. <laughs> oh, dead. 25, 3, 10! I'm very close to you, not quite. Very close. Deja sure. vu, yes. Not sure if the tiniest mouth? Tiniest, tiniest food, food ever, ever, biggest mouth yeah. ever. Many donuts. <laughs> you want to reset for me? Please. Uh, oh, yes. This guy? Yep. One that says reset. Yeah, I don't see an advantage to not fire. Really get a lot of points in the first level. <laughs> this is a oh, complex game. Marco, you mm -hmm. have a bit. <laughs> Teething issues? Oh. Kick ban. Kick. <laughs> Gummy shaped like real food, like crab patties one they make. Yeah, they could be little candies, because they're all supposed to be bad for you. I mean, these strawberries are quite sugary. <gasps> no. Oh no! So early! shouldn't have lost that tooth. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty far off, unfortunately. What's the patch score? 35. Oh, 27! Uh, it's oh, pretty God hard in the it. higher levels. Like, the, the, the challenge ramps up very fast. Very fast. They move around fast, and the teeth instantly disappear. Mm -hmm. They touch them, it's gone, pretty much. You get, like, one second. One, all three. Mm -hmm. Come on. Why am I so hungry? We just had dinner. <laughs> Not good. There's so many donuts. I know. Do you still have the donut? Um, oh, pan? we still have the mini donut. But we also have cookies, and I baked blueberry <laughs> bars this week, so there's a lot of junk food. No, that. not three at once. It. There's another one? What the hell? Where were those hiding? Uh, they're just hanging out. Look, I've, I've, I've hanging out the left. pockets of your cheeks, floating around. Yeah. I'm feeling I'm doing worse this time.
Come on. It's so uh, confused. The confused. Ah, chompers. Chompers, yeah. yes. It's a mouthful <laughs> of teeth. It, it is very like, what is happening? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, the more teeth you have, the more frantic it is, because it's so easy to lose one when you it have is. so many of them. Whereas it's... when you're just defending a couple of them... Come on! Oh. It is a lot harder with a full mouth. Mm. It is creepy that you basically have a mouthful of molars. <laughs> like, anyone else find that creepy? No incisors. <laughs> it's no canines. Definitely just, a herbivore. Just a mouth of molars. It's like, it's, it's like a cow's mouth. It, it's reverse evolution. Of, you're getting all your teeth. you're getting all your um, wisdom teeth back. <laughs> That's right. It's just a mouthful of wisdom teeth. Yeah. Ah. I couldn't put my finger on why it's so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how small and far apart their space too. That's like really creepy too. Oh. <laughs> I use my toothpaste a little differently than this. Am I cleaning my teeth around? <laughs> you are. You have to take lessons from this game. Yes. It's the authority of uh, teeth cleaning. Well, I Come learned. On. I learned from. Oh. Morning cartoons. Brush <laughs> your teeth round and round. I think that's Canadian. Is it? I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people know that song. It was like a little, little like short animated film. It's the toothpaste family. The toothpaste family. I'm pretty sure that's Canadian. Circle it's so small, gums and all. It's so cheesy and. A small self toothbrush the round around <laughs> way. We'll keep your gums healthy and stop tooth decay. So clean very carefully three times a day. Go round and round. Gone. Dead. Oh my god. This this is just nuts. It's nuts. It is. It's the donut level. Yep. Neither of us get past the donut. The mini donuts. Oh. ADA approved. <laughs> Is that better than last time? Uh, no, you, you did screen. worse. Yeah, you did, did 27. Worse. Yeah, you had 27. Just slightly worse than last time. I'm not going to do better. Ugh. So don't record that. Don't bother. Oh, you can. Well, then I'm going to be scrolling through which one's my best one. <laughs> <sighs> or you can put it down. I don't care. I don't care. It's so hard. Like, that's a wall that you hit. Yeah, it is. I think it's just about defending that last tooth and keeping one tooth going constantly. You just have to. Because you can't defend all of them. It's too hard because they instantly kill them at that level. It's like, boom! In the States, we had time for timer cartoons, including one to teach toothbrushing. Mm. I am going to look up the toothpaste family. Toothbrush family? Toothpaste. Toothbrush. 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 The toothbrush family. Toothbrush family. I'm yeah. sure it's Canadian. Oh, oh, definitely Canadian. I, oh, I'm just okay. curious if anyone else had it anywhere. It was animated. Poorly. And and there was like a toothbrush and a hairbrush. It was like in, in a bathroom. Australian. Really? Yep. Did they dub it That's over amazing. with... Cause, oh, they did they definitely sound? Definitely did. Did they sound Australian? I don't remember. No, they did not sound Australian. Uh, oh, was it in the U.S.? Uh, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. It was UK, in. Ireland, Japan, Canada, Italy, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia. Hmm. Um, doesn't say anything about the U.S., so never made it to the U.S. Maybe. Time for timer. The only commercials I remember are the Aquafresh toothpaste. Main characters were Tom, Tess, kids Tina and Toby, and Gramps. Uh, other bathroom objects: flash fluoride, the toothpaste, hot flash rod, fluoride. hot rod Harry, the electric toothbrush, having wheels and a love of speed, Bert brush, Cecily comb, Neb nail brush, Susie, Susie sponge, Shaggy dog, Cali conditioner, and Sally shampoo. Fun. <laughs> 
toothbrush family expanded to include two international television shows. Television shows? Yeah. DVDs, CDs, videos, audio cassettes, publications, EP, and record series. And they have a dead website. Well, no, it says 2021. Maybe it just has a bunch of garbage on it that my browser doesn't like. Mm. Graphics are awesome on that proof of concept for a rush. I wish Christoph Klukseg and Scott Dayton's Animal Dentist, POC Animal formerly Dentist? known as Dead, was turned into a full game. I've never heard of that one. It has the different teeth that Tanya was asking for. Oh, funny. Animal Dentist. Animal Dentist, that, that sounds up. creepy. coming up for that. Oh, I hate the having to go up and down to switch. Have to look that up. Yeah, it's a bit... Uh... Eating your teeth. You're eating your teeth. Oh, you lost a tooth. Timer would make for a good video game. I hanker for a chunk of cheese. Christoph Klukseg does amazing work. Um, was it for the 2600 Arena Foot? I'm loading up your list right now. See what I can... See what information it has on there. See if there's any... pictures of it. <laughs> 22,000. It's time for cherries? No, one more before oh, cherries. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the one where they whittle your teeth down and then the cherries takes you out completely. And then the flying diagonal mini donuts, donuts destroy you. Proof of concept. No links. Oh, man. No links whatsoever. Oh. Oh, James, you'd have to no. see those old cartoons made in the 1970s. Oh, I love the 70s cartoons. Oh, They're wait, always the best. What was it called? Oh, this is not Time for Timer. Okay. A strange name. Time for Timer. Is there a character called Timer? Oh, protect! Oh, oh my god! No. You can't even protect them! <laughs> it's terrible! Oh, 28! Well, I beat James. Oh, so... no! Oh, you know what? what? How am I still playing? You got an extra tooth because you How? got 28. It died immediately! Oh, well, I'll, I'll get whatever... <laughs> Whatever score I can. Oh, never stop too soon. Oh, ow, my fingers are killing me. Wow, this is really cool looking. Oh. Did you see it open its mouth? We'll show that after. Okay. 28, 8, 90. Yes. Can you uh, no hover over it? Oh, no, no right-clicking. There. And then go to the three dots. Oh, nope, that was it. That? Yep. There you go. Thank you. And then the X. Okay. And my channel mod. Okay. <sighs> nice. 28,890. I thought that was pretty good. It's Very not quite good. 35. Reset. Yep. Very good. I felt my last. Hurts my fingers though. Last score was not good. Smacking hard. Kittens. Do you want to play a game? Is it a mouse game? It would be a bell game. Oh, instant crying. See in the. Uh... Oh, oh speedy. <laughs> it's like fast. treats, please. I know this game. Uh, do you get a badge or a plaque? Uh, if you get the score. You get a patch. Oh, 
we can see him or not. That's okay. Oh, sorry. Is it over the top? Oh, yeah. He'll be seen there. If it's in between the camera and the light, he'll be seen. Okay. And it's about halfway out. Just under halfway out, so. He didn't actually ring it. Try again. Touches it with his paw. He hasn't quite figured out the bell. There, there you go. go! Good kitty! Good kitty! Good kitty. There's one for you. <laughs> one for the one that won't ring the bell. Yeah. No, 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 no. Terrible. Shouldn't have lost that. Ring the bell. Good kitty. Okay. It's over there. It's over there. Kitty. Do you get a badge or a plaque? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible puns there are happening. Dan, ABC, I know the cartoon you're talking about, Mike. It was a PSA done on ABC during Saturday mornings. Yeah. I'm not too sure if it turned around. Oh, I guess it didn't actually engage the tooth. So. Yeah, there you go. You can have teeth in reserve if, mm -hmm. if your mouth is full. I've never got that. No, I don't get in that. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are very good ice cream cones. Good kitty. I shouldn't be losing any teeth in these levels. Oh, maybe in this level. Oh, you're pretty high up now. Mm -hmm. Oh, got one extra. Another. Two extra. Yep, because the more teeth you can maintain, the huge, you get huge bonuses. But it's so hard in the higher levels to maintain so that many hard. teeth. So, I mean, that's kind of the thing, because they just take them out instantaneously. They do. But I suppose if you know the game well, you know the patterns, you know what they kind of go after first? I don't know. Yeah, there's no patterns, really. No? They just... You think it's random? Here you go. You're just floating around, eating your teeth. Okay, all the... I mean, I mean, they turn around, so you, you do get that part of it. So wiggly. <laughs> oh, come on. Damn it. No, I, I couldn't even make it over there in time. That's what I mean. You can't maintain a huge mouth. You want to stay in the middle, really. Yeah. Oh, good job. Now it gets hard. Those cherries, they move so fast and they're so small. Oh, come on. They give you no time to... Nice. Very good. This is evil donut level. We've got a tooth in reserve, that's good. His evil donut level. Nice. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, oh you're gonna make it. <laughs> you say that. Yes! 
first patch. Woohoo! Patch of cheese. Patch of cheese. My second ever game, third ever game. <laughs> Good stuff. I'll get it after. We'll distract distract you. I'm sorry. Protect your tooth. We're down to one. <gasps> down to zero. It's okay. It's Come hard. on. Oh, good though. Good score. <gasps> <laughs> That's a hard game. <laughs> Patch. I didn't think I would get it. Where is it? It's uh, in the closet. Careful. It's down the back, in behind. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. See it? On the floor, in behind. Yeah, I do. Oh, I think I need to fix this a little. Taking the wind out of it. Come on. <laughs> Bring over the sash. Come here. Okay, stand up. Which way is it? This way? Yes. You okay? Yep. Okay. Woot! Yeah. Patch achieved! <laughs> 37. Nine ninety. Not too bad. I I thought that was gonna be a lot harder because when I first played it, I thought. Oh, it's going way too fast. Oh, it's super now fast. Now I think I can even beat that. Yeah. Not going to. Look at how many teeth. Really? Is that the maximum <laughs> number of teeth that's you the, can get? That's a full mouth, yeah. That's got to be easy level. I've never gotten that. I, I, You're I, done? Yeah. You're happy with your score? No, yeah, I'm happy no with my score. You? I don't, I don't, uh, it was kind of mashing my fingers by the end oh, there, so okay. they need a bit of a break. That's okay. I'm going to show. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's such a quick stream. The first three games went really quickly. You, this game. That's cool. Because it's really cool looking. Because um, uh, Arena Foot mentioned it. Is that going to work? Yeah. In the chat. Yeah. And it is. Um, what's it called? Uh, animal. Animal denti dentist. That's crazy. Can I start it over again? There's their chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chat inception. <laughs> um, let me try it again. <laughs> yeah. Animal dentist. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's try one. Look at that animation. Wow. So you press the button and it gets rid of the plaque. And it looks like two player. Oh! You gotta do it in a, in a certain amount of time? Is that the idea? I guess so. Oh. Formerly dead. I don't know why it'd be called dead. I can't, I can't get, get that get the guy. two. Yeah. Hmm. I think I can move. Oh! Oh, and it rots. Yeah. If you don't. So let's try level nine. <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay, oh. it's faster. But you have two people playing. Yeah, it looks like it's two player only. The different teeth adds to the creepy. Yes. Agreed. Yeah, the graphics are amazing. Where it opens the mouth, there's a lot of flicker, but it's it's fine. It seems to be fine. It also mm. gives the teeth transparency. Yeah. <laughs> because it's flickering. So what is this on? It's twenty six. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Neat. Really great graphics. Animal Dentist, Formerly Dead, Proof of Concept, Classic Single Player, Pick Teeth and Hope Not to Get Chomped. Okay, chomped, yeah. Speed Single Player, Pick Teeth as Fast as You Can to Get the Highest Score in the Shortest Time Before You Get Chomped. Classic Multiplayer, Players Take Turns Picking Teeth. Speed Multiplayer, A Game more Mode Where Players Will Be Able to Speed Click to Collect Points for Cleaning, But Every Tooth Clean Increases Odds That Next One Hit Is Bad. So you'll have to... Oh, okay. Is that... That's interesting. Like, 
the game where there's a crocodile and you have to pull its teeth out or something oh yes and then it chomps on it you it chomps on you it was it's like a board game but and a this is like game. animal it's, dentistry too it's like the it's so it chomps on you when you when you rot it, out a tooth but it's so random yeah. like that one is like i don't i didn't know that that one was going to be the bad tooth and kill me so wouldn't you just want to just get all the teeth? Memory modes where a map of teeth to be cleaned is displayed for three or so seconds at start, effectively transforming random game into a memory game. But it was never finished. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. It's like a chomping and it goes, it's on a timer and tooth. you pull teeth or you pull the wrong tooth the and it goes. Tooth. Yeah. That's second to last one on the bottom. Mm. So if I do that one first, that one. Oh. No, maybe not. Oh. It's random. Weird. Seem to be it that. closes randomly. Oh, look, I can just get points by just doing the same tooth over and over again. I guess so. And then oh. there's the bad tooth. Interesting. Yeah. In, like, the graphics are astounding. Are well, the chomping. it's all play field except for the teeth. Yeah. It and looks like the dentist x-ray you get where it goes right around your mouth and it's, like, stretched out, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kind of neat. Very cool. Thank yeah. you for sending that yeah, over in a foot and the the teeth theme. Mm. Yeah. Um, Makes me want to go and brush my teeth now. <laughs> Kitten, what are you doing in there? So uh, that's a show. Uh, I didn't think it would be that short. <laughs> it was pretty. But uh, quick. we did pretty good, pretty fast. Yeah. So I thought we would be on that game for a little bit longer. We probably the could have played game, a little bit Black more Attack. Robot City or one of those. But, yeah, uh, I'm fine with my score for yeah. now. Um, that was a bit quick. That's okay. So where's the chat? There we go. There's the chat. So what's coming up? Uh, we're gonna be playing. Atlas next episode on the 7800 mm. uh, along with some other 7800 games um, on the 21st May 21st Friday that is the premiere of Champ Games Secret New <gasps> Homebrew um, That's exciting this magic cart will make it all oh, work random. I can't show you the other no, side no that's okay but uh, this is a special cart oh that uh, is needed to make it work. Oh, that's very Without exciting. this, it doesn't work. So nice. um, that is very cool. And yeah. I just tested it today. Okay. And it's all working. So everything's okay. prepared. Mm -hmm. You can send it over to me, load it on the cart, and it'll run. Nice. Yeah. Scores Good. updated on the Atari Age forum. Awesome. Let's go check that out. So Atari Video Club. Harmony Games. And we'll go to Robot City. And he's added in your score. So you are third with 1924. I'm second with 2364. I don't know if I could beat Thomas Yench. Oh, it's, that's pretty high. This is 3820. Like maybe if I played it a lot. Oh, yeah, but a little bit more practice for that one. That's very high. An arena foot with 848. Yeah. So you got seven points for that. And then, Cannon Head Clash. That cart burnt something in your config. What? <laughs> I hope it didn't do anything to me. My config? Mm. Um, I'm first. I got 10 points. Rain of Foot second, 9 points. And you have 8 points in third place mm. uh, for Cannon Head Clash. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that. So that's what's coming up. So in a week and a half, we'll have the big reveal, Champ Games' new secret homebrew. Hmm. Um, if anybody wants to guess what it could be or take a look at the guesses that people have guessed already, I'll uh, post the link in the chat. You can get there by going to the Atari Age Clubs and Zero Page Homebrew. And there you can go give a guess to it. There's some guesses already there. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. and then we're going to have a little bit of a break. Yeah. Well, I uh, get rid of all this noise and annoy <laughs> annoyance. Fix all the stuff that's fix broken. All the stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's sure. a light that's broken here, too. Yeah, I have to fix the light. Ugh. I have to fix possibly a grounding issue on the 2600. Yeah. So I'm going to redo some of the graphics for the show. Nice. nice. Um, 
maybe make an intro if I have time for the mm -hmm. show, something like that. Um, and do some other things mm -hmm. that I've not been able to do because I have to do so much prep for this show every week. Yeah, that's true. It's a lot of prep. It is. Um, so that'll be a nice little spring break. Yes. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, Vitoko 8-Bits, Dan ABC, thanks Dan for putting on the uh, competition. Mm -hmm. It's always fun. Celebrating the winners of the Atari Homebrew Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, Arena Foot, especially for sending over Animal Animal Dentist, which is a very strange very, game. Very weird game. Yeah, yeah, it looks good though. It's too bad they didn't finish it off, but they probably like hit a wall. It's like, oh, what do we do? How do we make this work properly um rc70 uh fiero doug atari 2600 dude charles whelan um vitoko 8 bits mark lianis mike soul lots of names in there yeah. today mr zarna whoop rc70 uh, cafe, cafe man. man major havoc nice. lots of people snuck in while we're yeah. playing uh lopta or iopta <laughs> i can never remember it's all lowercase. It might it's be an Lopta. uppercase. It's Lopta. Lopta. Target 2600 dude. Dr. Moo Cows. Dr. Moo Cows. Metal Lunar. Who else? Carl G. Carl G. Oh, S. Yeah. Ramirez, S. Ramirez at the beginning. Ground Trooper. Oof. Alan the Fur. So many people today. I know. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us and cheering us on for our high scores. Yeah. It's mostly a high score day yes. today. Yeah, quite a quick one. A yep. couple hours but instead we of met the usual. Our goals quick. So. Sometimes that happens. So I'm It's happy. like when you have a lot of stuff planned for your work day and you get it all done in the morning and then you're like, okay, now what do I do? <laughs> yep. Oh, and uh, Vitoko just added 1942. That'd be amazing. Oh, <gasps> amazing. oh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Could it be done? I think so because it's all. Is there bombing in 1942 or is it all shooting in the air? So he could convert his Galaga. Um, engine mm. a bit over to 1942. Mm. Oh, it'd be amazing for him to do a shooter like oh, that, yeah. a, a moving shooter. Um, I mean, Xevious has set the bar really high for a mm -hmm. scrolling shooter. Yeah, exactly. Like, like Xevious. Xevious. Yeah. 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 I can see that. Yeah. But who knows? That's a good guess. I, I'd be super happy with 1942. Yeah. I love 1942. <laughs> it's a super fun game. Yeah. And NES version has always been uh, not great. So having a good 2600 version would be awesome. Um, so that's it for us today. We're going to be back on Friday. What is it today? Yep. Be back on Friday with 7800 yes. games. Excellent. And then back again on Tuesday, and then Friday, and we're done. For a little while. For a little, little while. Break. little tiny break. Yes. So, uh, oh, get rid of that. I hate that shine on me. It's like glowing in the corner. All it is is like white screens, and it makes this huge glow in the corner. It gets into the camera. Mm -hmm. So we will see you all again on Friday. Yes. So at 6 o'clock, same time. Yay. So thanks for hanging out. We'll Yay. see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.